Hello, everyone. Today, we have an exciting three-part exercise that will not only sharpen your listening skills, but also boost your speaking confidence. Part 1. English Listening Practice with Conversations Part 2. English Speaking Practice by Answering Questions Part 3. English Speaking Practice with the Shadowing Method this video is designed for you to watch repeatedly over the next few days. So let's embark on this language learning journey together. Without further ado, let's jump into part one. Part one, listening to the conversation. In part one, you will eavesdrop on a daily English conversation between native speakers. Try to focus on the meaning of the conversation when you listen to it. Don't worry if you miss a word or two. The goal is to immerse yourself in the language. After the conversation, we'll move on to part two, where you'll actively participate by answering some easy questions out loud. Are you ready? Let's begin. Hey there, Jenny. Long time no see. What brings you here? Hi, Mark. I was just in the neighborhood and thought I'd drop by. How have you been? Not bad. Just busy with work and stuff. What about you? Same here. Work's been keeping me on my toes. I needed a break, so I thought I'd swing by and catch up. Well, I'm glad you stopped by. It's always good to see a friendly face. Want to grab a coffee or something? That sounds great, Mark. I could use a pick-me-up. Let's catch up over coffee. Vocabulary. Drop by. To visit someone informally or briefly. Example. I thought I'd drop by your place after work to say hello. On one's toes. To be alert, attentive, or ready for action. Example. The sudden meeting kept everyone on their toes at the office. Swing by. To visit a place casually or briefly. Example. Can you swing by the store on your way home and grab some milk? Catch up to bring oneself up to date with the latest information or events. Example. Let's grab a cup of coffee and catch up on what's been happening in our lives. Stop by. To visit someone briefly or for a short period. Example. I'll stop by your desk later to discuss the project details. Or something. Used to suggest other options or possibilities. Example. We can grab dinner or something and then maybe catch a movie. Pick me up. Something such as a snack or a drink that provides a temporary boost of energy or mood. Example. I need a quick pick-me-up before the meeting. Maybe a cup of strong coffee will help. Part 2. Answering Questions Great job on Part 1! 
Now, in part two, it's your time to shine. Answer a series of easy questions out loud related to the conversation you just heard. Don't be shy. Speaking out loud is key to improving your English fluency. Feel free to pause and rewind as needed. Answer the questions out loud. Hey there, Jenny. Long time no see. What brings you here? Hi, Mark. I was just in the neighborhood and thought I'd drop by. Did Mark and Jenny meet after a long time? Yes, they did. They met after a long time. Did Jenny come to Mark's place because she was in the neighborhood? Yes, she did. She came to Mark's place because she was in the neighborhood. How have you been? Not bad. Just busy with work and stuff. What about you? Same here. Work's been keeping me on my toes. I needed a break, so I thought I'd swing by and catch up. Did Mark say work had been slow lately? No, he didn't. He said work has been keeping him on his toes. What has been keeping Mark on his toes lately? Work has been keeping Mark on his toes lately. How has work been for Mark recently? Work has been keeping Mark on his toes recently. Well, I'm glad you stopped by. It's always good to see a friendly face. Want to grab a coffee or something? That sounds great, Mark. I could use a pick-me-up. Let's catch up over coffee. Did Mark suggest grabbing dinner to catch up? No, he didn't. He suggested grabbing coffee to catch up. Who suggested grabbing a cup of coffee? Mark suggested grabbing a cup of coffee. Repeat this exercise until you say the answers fluently and confidently. Part 3. Shadowing Practice Congratulations on reaching the final stretch! Part 3! Here's where you'll put your speaking skills to the test with shadowing. Repeat the lines of the conversation out loud, trying to match the native speaker's tone and pronunciation. Focus on the rhythm and intonation of the English expressions and sentences. This exercise will not only enhance your speaking abilities, but also improve your overall language rhythm. Repeat this process multiple times over the next few days for optimal results. Remember, consistency is key in language learning. Now let's dive into the shadowing practice and take your English to the next level. Hey there, Jenny. Long time no see. What brings you here? Not bad. Just busy with work and stuff. What about you? Well, I'm glad you stopped by. It's always good to see a friendly face. Want to grab a coffee or something?
Hi, Mark. I was just in the neighborhood and thought I'd drop by. How have you been? Same here. Work's been keeping me on my toes. I needed a break, so I thought I'd swing by and catch up. That sounds great, Mark. I could use a pick-me-up. Let's catch up over coffee. Fantastic job, guys. You've completed our immersive English speaking practice session. Keep watching, listening, and speaking. Your dedication will undoubtedly lead to remarkable progress. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more engaging language learning content. Until next time, keep practicing, stay motivated, and enjoy your journey to English fluency. Happy learning! Thanks for watching, guys. Now, I recommend you watch this great video too. It will help you to improve your English skills, and you will love it, I promise.